Okay, our English classes begin. Good evening, I remember. Uh, today the topic uh, is about the wave practical tactics because uh, I want to teach you how to uh, catch the wave uh, practical tactics. My name is Jesse Ning. So uh, let's see the objective of this course. Firstly, you can recognize the current market then straighten out the investment mentality and change our investment fate. So uh, I hope you can learn some good methods, uh, trading tactics of this today's course. So before the course, then let's see the market first because every day, we, every course we will uh, talk about the market first. So this is the market. So last time I already taught you some investment, uh, some method. I don't know whether you can remember or, or not. Firstly, let's see the monthly chart. Why we see the monthly chart? Because monthly chart can help us to judge the, ch the uh, trend is good or not. So last time I remember that I taught you all about the um, miracle trend. And I don't know whether you can remember or not. What is the miracle trend? So uh, you can confirm the low point and the high point. Then you can count the one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three to know the turning point of the market. So first, let's see this one. This, which one is the lowest point? So this one, the low point is 2529.01. This one is 2528. Point forty-four. So this is the lowest point. And we can confirm this is the low point. The next the candlestick, if the high price is higher than this one, this is the candlestick one, two, then three. One, two, three. One, two. So now the market still have some chance. So we know the if you count the this is the high point, right? So if you see next day, the low price is lower than the high point. So this is the one, two, three, one, two, three. Then the market starts to rebound. So this one is one, two, three. This is the three, two, nine, eight, zero. So this is three, then one, two, three. This high price is two, well, three, one, eight, eight point zero two. High price, so one, two. So maybe there are one month because one candlestick stands for one month. So if uh, we know that for the market, the market still have one month chance to go up. Okay. So this is the monthly chart. Let's see the weekly chart. Weekly chart, we can see the market is still uptrend. Then let's see the KDJ indicator. Then we can see the KDJ indicator. So we can see the KDJ indicator for the market. The high price is higher, but we can see the KDJ high price, high point is lower. So this is the top deviation. So if you have some stocks, you should pay more attention. If the J line downward cross, you should know maybe the price may have some retracement. Okay. So this is the weekly chart. Then we can see the monthly chart. Monthly chart we use, we can use many functions to judge. Firstly, we can use the chips distribution to judge where is the support and resistance. So you can connect this low point to this high point. Then we can click CD, chips distribution. Then we know recently the market is still sideways during this period. So how to confirm the market is uptrend or downtrend or sideways? So firstly, let's see this one. This is the low point, low point, low point, and the low point, low point. So low point is higher, right? And the high point is higher. So this trend is uptrend. But when the uptrend, short-term uptrend is reversal. So we can see this is the high point, another high point, high point, then low point, low point. So if we confirm the high point and low point, and we can get the trend line. 
So firstly, let's see this one. This is the previous high point. So this one, if cannot break through, the chain is still sideways. Okay, so we confirm the high point and the low point, then we can draw the line. So for the short term trend, the trend is uptrend or downtrend. For short term, not for medium term. For short term, we can compare this low point, high point, this low point and high point. So we know these two points, we can get the line. And uh, this is another line. So we can see for the short term trend, the market is still uptrend. Right. Okay. So if we, you should know the trend is uptrend, then if you see the price drop to the trend line and get some support, the trend line is effective. But if you see there's no, there's no, uh, the third point touch the trend line, the trend line is not effective. Okay. So you should pay more attention. So if the pro this recently the market had some short term retracement, short term correction. So if you see the price touch here, this is the support. You can do some short term trading during uh, in the trend line. Okay. So this is the market. Then we can see the uh, KDJ indicator. The J line start to go down, but still not downward cross the K line and the D line. So for the for the current market, it is not the periodical high point, okay? So this is the market. And let's see the main contents. Today we will talk about the problems of investors and three methods of catching bottom, okay? Because uh, yesterday we learned how to uh, get, how to catch the top signal. So today I will teach you three methods of catching bottom and how to buy and sell. Okay, so the problems, the problems of investors. The first one, making money occasionally difficult to continue to make money, right? Because maybe one time we can earn money, but we cannot confirm for every time we can make profit. So it's difficult to make money continuously. So if you only make money occasionally, it's, so it, it not means you catch the good method. If you can make profit continuously, your method is good. The second one, cannot see the situation of current market. So firstly, we, you should know, you should judge the market chance. The market is uptrend or downtrend or sideways, then you can decide your trading strategy. The third one, Hard to find strong stocks. We learned so many methods for catching strong stocks, but we we say, uh, but it's difficult to up or uh, up the rules, right? So the uh, fourth one, no basis of buy and sell stocks. So you, you don't you maybe you learn some method, but you should know why this is the buy point and why this is the sell point. The last one always sell at the wrong point. So you should know how to sell at the right point. So today I will teach you a good method to catch the buy and sell point. And this is your trading strategy. So this is the problems of investors. Then let's see the next one. How to form the complete trading system. Firstly, you should have the market evaluation, then selection of individual stocks. So you should have select the stock first, then grasp the buy and the sell point. Then you should know whether the funds, the, ba the bank money in flow or out flow. So this is the distribution of funds. Then the last one is for risk control. So how to know that whether you have the complete trading system or not? You should see firstly, have you have the uh, have you uh, analyzed the market? Then next one. Do you have some method for selecting the individual stocks? The second one, do you have the trading strategy for buy and sell point? Then next one, you know the distribution of funds. Then do you have the risk control? Do you risk, uh, have some top signal to sell your stocks or stop loss? So this is the complete trading system. If you want to have this trading system, you should know these five points. 
Then let's see the three methods of catching bottom. Firstly, the buy point of making money, making more money. Every investor wants to make more money. The second one, buy point of making money easily. Then last one, buy point of make lots of money easily. So we all want to know these three methods, right? So how to catch it? Because we know there are so many individual stocks in Singapore market, but which stock is good to buy? You should know first. Because every day I will focus on the vol high volume stocks, then we can analyze together. If you analyze more stocks, then more ch uh, trading strategy you can grasp, okay? And the more chart pattern. So let's see the high volume stock first, then we can analyze stocks because there are so many stocks, but whether you catch it or not. So we can see the first one. This one is this stock. So firstly, if you see, and if you judge one stock, firstly, you should judge the trend first. Okay, we can see the trend is uptrend or downtrend. How to confirm? High point, right? This is the high point. <laughs> High point, high point, low point, low point. So the chain is uptrend or downtrend? Downtrend, right? So if you confirm this is the downtrend, we can draw the trend line. So the chain is downtrend. If you want to do operate this stock, you should do some short term trading. So how to do that? When the price touch the trend line, the support. Then if you see the price rebound to this line, this is the resistance, okay? So the next one we can see. Let's see the next one. The next one is this stock. So you can see this stock. For this chart, will you buy this stock or not? Because you can see this obviously the M or M top, right? So if you don't buy this stock, will you buy or not? You cannot buy because this is the top chart pattern, okay? So when to buy, when to check, or when to buy, when to sell. If you want to see this one, we can draw the box, right? So if the price for below the box, the price will continue to go down. If we are not, if get some support, the price will some will get some rebound. Okay, so let's see the next one. So this one no volume. Then let's see this stock. It good or not? Quite strong, but who hold this stock? If you see so many strong stocks, but you never hold it, it's not, uh, it's, it's nothing to do with you, right? Okay, so let's see this stock. Firstly, we can judge the chain, uptrend or downtrend. So we can see the chain is still uptrend. So if you have this stock, you sell or keep it. You can keep it because chain is uptrend, you still can keep it. Okay, so let's see this one. This is the high point, right? But this day already break out, create a new high. Create a new high already. So, but you should know. If you never buy this stock, you miss the good chance. Then we can see the high point is higher, but the volume decrease or increase. Decrease. So the volume and the price deviation if you never buy this stock, you should pay more attention. If you have this stock, you should pay more attention to short-term correction. If you don't have, you can wait the buy point appears. Then later I will show you how to get the good buy point and the sell point, okay? So let's see this one, good or not. Today, one member asked me, this stock whether can do some short-term rebound or not. So we can see, I just, uh, Told, I only can tell you what is the support and the resistance. So firstly, let's see this stock. Uptrend or downtrend? Obviously, downtrend. And why I see that this is the support? This is the support, right? So if you 
if you say the price hits a new low, can we get in or not? Cannot. But if but if the, the price touch here, then go up. Maybe you should know this is only the rebound, not the not the uh, only the rebound, not the retract, not the reversal. Yeah. 稍微休息个十分钟到十五分钟到休息个头条 OK So this is the stock Then we can see next one This stock on good or not Good But the chain is still down chain OK So firstly we can use my uh, miracle chain to judge the sh If you confirm the chain is down chain You can use mina uh, method of miracle chain to judge So we can see this is the low point right the number one, number two, number three, okay? So if next day can continue to go up, so you can cut one, two, three again. If cannot, this is the sell point for short term, okay? So this is the method. So let's see some first one, first point. Buy point of making more money. How to make more money? If you buy low, buy low, you can make more money, right? But if you buy here, buy here, you oh, you can make money, but cannot make more money, right? So you should make more money, okay? If you want to make more money, you should know how to catch the low point to get in. So let's see this one. Buy point of making more money. So we can see I set some signals because we have a lot of buy low signals, right? But which one the uh, accelerate uh, accurate is higher? Then let's see this one. The blue signal appears. Blue signal means the buy low signal, okay? So if you see the buy low signal appears, disappear. If you see the blue signal disappear, you can consider buy, okay? So we can see this is the buy point you can catch the low point to buy, right? So if you buy here, you keep your stocks, you can make more money, okay? So if you buy here, you keep the stocks, you can make more money, okay? So let's see this one. This stock is good, it's good, but not now. So we can see the blue signal appears, disappear. Here, if you buy, you make more money or less money. You can make more money. So if you want to make more money, you can set the buy low signal. But this buy low signal, how to set? I can teach you. Firstly, you should click the signal, signals. Then click probability. KDJ, you can change the mirror meter to minus 20 to 8. Minus 20 to 8, okay. Then you can click OK. You can get the blue signal, right? OK, then we can see this one. Blue signal appears. This is a buy low, right? If you buy here, make money or not? Yes, you can make more. You can make money. And this buy point is lower. Why I said like that? If you use some other indicators, no buy point appear. If you use red and white circle here, is the buy point right? So this buy low signal is very good for you to make more money. Okay. So we can see so many stocks. Then we can see this one. The blue signal appears. If you buy here or buy here or buy here, good or not? Can make money or not? Can make more money. Not only not just make money. You can make more money. Okay, then we can see this one. But if you catch this one, blue signal disappear, then a money or lose money. Lose money. Why? Firstly, we can see this is the if you want to make more money, you will suffer more loss. Right? So, how to avoid the loss? You can set the stop loss point. So if you see here, if you see the next day, the price, the candlestick fall below the low price of the blue signal, you should stop loss. So we can see here, already stop fall below, right? 
next day you should stop loss. Even if you buy here, but you should stop loss here, right? Then you can make more money and lose less, okay? So we can see here, this is the blue signal disappear. Here if we buy, then when to stop loss? Where is the stop loss point? Where is the stop loss point? Here, right? Because for below, you should stop loss. So if you, if this signal cannot let you make money, and the sell, stop loss signal appears, you must do, you must follow it. Okay. So let's see this one. Maybe if you buy right, but here you should stop loss. Okay. Then. If you follow this one, here is the buy point, then you can catch the good buy point. So let's see this stock. So we can see this one. This is the uptrend or downtrend? Okay. Downtrend. If you see the stock is in the downtrend, even if the blue signal appears, you buy more or buy less? Buy less. Buy less. Buy less or don't buy it's up to you so maybe you want to do some short -term trading short -term rebound you can do it but if you don't want to take a risk you no need to do it no need to buy in the downtrend okay so we can see this one blue disappear here you buy here you also can buy when to stop loss if you see here is your buy point you cannot confirm this stock continue to go up but where is the stop loss point you should know. If the price fall below this low price of the blue signal, you should stop loss. If you cannot make money, but maybe you cannot not make money, but here, if you see the price fall below, you should stop loss, okay? So this is the method. Then we can see next one. By point of making lost, lots of money easily, okay? So if you follow this signal, every time you can catch low point to get in, in the, in the uptrend. So here we buy, here buy, here buy, here buy, a money or not. But this one is only for short -term trading. If you do some short -term trading, you should know stop loss is necessary and is extremely important. Okay, so let's see the next one. The buy point of making lots of money easily. How to do that? So we next method we can use this method to judge whether the chain, the price belongs to top deviation or bottom deviation. Okay, so this one is called a uh, deviation expert, which can help us to judge the top deviation or bottom deviation. If you don't know how to use this function, you can use MACD to judge the top deviation or bottom deviation also can, okay? So let's see this one. Low point is lower, right? But this one low point is higher. This is the top bottom deviation. If you see the bottom deviation, good or not? Good, because the the price have chunks, okay? So if you, so why this stock so strong? Because top the bottom deviation, right? So recently the market is still good. But you see now, the price continue to go up. The high point is not higher. So if you want to buy, you should wait and see, okay? So let's see this one. This is the short term deviation, right? The low point lower. This low point is higher. So this one, good or not? Good for short term trading, okay? So let's see this one. So we can see this one. Then we can use division expert, or if you don't know how to use, you can click MACD to judge, also can. So we can see here, the price continue to go up, go down, but the MACD, go down or sideways, sideways right. So this is the bottom deviation. So let's see some stocks. You should judge whether this is the top deviation or bottom deviation. So let's see this one. 
we can see here the price continue to go down but the division the MACD is still sideways so this is the bottom division okay so let's see the next uh, so many stocks then we can judge but let's we want to know whether Yizong holding uh, whether this stock continue to can start to buy or not so first thing we can see the chart the low point is lower but here the low point is lower or higher still can lower so this one no bottom deviation so if you want to buy it's not a good it, it is not a good time to get in okay so this is the some method for judging the how to make more money easily the next one how to make lots of money easily okay this function is called kdj if you see the j line go up this is the if you see the j line go upwards so this is the good short term buy point upwards turn upwards and here upwards so you can see the change is the short term buy point okay but the parameter is important if you see the j line above 50 to go up so here if you buy the risk is more okay so if you see the j line below 20 then turn upwards the buy point the accel the accuracy is higher okay so let's say this one is called homely rainbow which can show us the support and the resistance and the trend is good or not first let's say this stock trend is up trend or down trend up trend because we can see all lines go up so this is the <coughs> up trend when you see the price for the, the price go down and touch the homely lines then the J line turn upwards so this is a good buy point so here you can buy in the option so here is the buy point in the option here we also can buy here we buy we can earn some great profit make more money okay so let's see the next one this stock is good or not it's quite good right because the chain is option so why we want we need to charge the chain first because we can make more money in the uptrend right okay so we can see this one this one is this stock is in the uptrend because we can see the all lights go up so where is the good buy point here you can buy here is the, another buy point here is another buy point so if you follow this buy point in the uptrend you can make more money right so let's see this stock okay then we can see this one if you follow this blue signal or homely rainbow all information all futures can help you to judge the buy and sell point you can combine with the kdj indicator then you will know where is the good buy point okay then we see here So if you follow the blue signal, you can combine. The blue signal disappear by point, by point, and the by point. And the KDJ turn upwards, turn upwards, turn upwards. So if you follow this by point in the down trend, in the up trend, so you can make more money. Okay. So this one can help us, can teach you how to make more money. Then let's see this one how to judge the buy and the sell point so today i will teach you two functions and how to combine with these two functions to catch your good buy point and sell point okay then we can see the, this one with expert basic application after a long term trend uptrend it is buy signal when price upward breaks out the strip line it is sell signal okay so uh we need to uh, uh we need to have a rest for five minutes because our icon has some problem 
Okay, so later I will, we will continue to our class. Okay, let's continue our class. So uh, now uh, I will teach you how to judge by the cell point. So firstly, let's uh, learn the one method, which is called wave, wave expert. The basic application, the first one, after a long term uptrend, it is by point when the price upward break out the strip line. It is sell signal when the price downward penetrate the strip line. Then the when it this is the okay. So let's see this one. Firstly, let's click expert then wave expert. Okay, so you can see if you see the green turn to the right, the price upward penetrate the uh, strip line. This is the buy point. Downward claw, downward penetrate the strip line. This is the sell point. Okay, then we can see next one. When it is the long term downtrend, wave expert is more suitable for big rebound, and the buy and sell principle is the same. Okay, so let's see the downtrend. <coughs> let's see the downtrend stocks. So we can see if you see the downtrend stocks, this function only for big rebound. It's, this is for small rebound. It will not cap, uh, cannot catch the short term rebound. Only for catching the big rebound. Okay. So let's see the next one. Application of band line. It is the first buy point when the volume in large when the volume increase when wave expert turns downtrend into flat and the price is above the green band. It is an increase signal when green band turn into the red band. In the uptrend, the price fall into the red band. It is the increase signal when the price break out red band again, then volume increase. It is the holding area when the price is above the red band line. Red band when the price downward break out breaks the band. We should sell in time. We should hold money when the price is below green band. Okay. So this is the basic application. Then we can see next one for practical application. I method. We should try. Uh, we should divide our fund into two parts at least by quarters principle. One part is used to open a position at the beginning of the uptrend, and the other part is used to increase when the trend is established. Okay, so in the up, this is the basic methods of holding and selling. In the uptrend, we can keep on holding when the price is above the red band. For the stocks whose volatility is small, it is sell signal when the price penetrates the red band. Okay, so let's see some uh, individual stocks. Then maybe you can understand better. So let's see this one. If you see here, the green turn to the red. This is the buy point for basic application. If you see the red band, means you still can hold your stocks. No need to care about the price drop here. If you see the red one, means you still can keep it. So if you follow this function, you can hold strong stocks and will not sell strong stocks earlier, okay? So when to sell? If you see the red turn to the green, you can sell. But this is only for basic application. Uh, let's see this one. Then we can see this, uh, this point. Then we don't re re uh, regard actor lies as trade signal. So if you operate short wave, we can regard the lies as the trade signal. If the investors operate media term wave, we can regard the lies as the trade signal. So this is the important thing. Just now we learned how to catch the wave expert. 
The next one, we know the strong signal, right? What's the advantages of strong signal and the wave expert? For wave expert, can help you to hold strong stocks for a long time, okay? But the strong signal can give you the uh, can give you the buy and the sell point clearly, okay? So if you combine these two functions, you can increase, you can catch the good buy point and the sell point, okay? So let's see the strong signal. Strong signal, the buy point and the sell point is easy. It's simple. If you see the red candlestick is the buy point, blue means the holding stocks, yellow is for selling sell point, then light blue for holding money, okay? So if you use this function, then what is the disadvantages? If you see the stock see sideways, then blue, red, blue, red, yellow, red, yellow will appear frequently, okay? So this one cannot be used in sideways area. So if you use other filters to uh, combine, maybe it's better. So let's see this one. Wave expert and the strong signal, red band, and the red candlestick is the buy point. Red band and the blue candlestick holding. Red ca band and the yellow candlestick decrease your position. Okay, so what's that meaning? If you see the red band and the red candlestick, here is the buy point. Okay, red band and the red candlestick, the buy point. Okay. So let's see the stocks. If you follow this function, then we can click Wave Expert. Here is the buy point. Because red band, red candlestick, this is the buy point. Here is also the buy point. And here is the buy point. So if you buy here, buy at this price and buy here, you can make great profit. Okay. So let's see this one <coughs> then we can see some other stocks then we can see the first one so for this stock whether can buy or not no because the green and no red candlestick so it is not a good buy point so for this stock buy point or sell point for buy point because red band and red candlestick. Then this one, green band and red candlestick, whether can buy or not. Later I will tell you. So we can see here, if you see the red band and the blue candlestick, you can hold your stocks. No need to sell, you can hold your stocks. Then if you see the red band and the yellow candlestick, you should decrease your position. This is decrease your position, not sell out, just decrease your position, okay? So let's see some individual stocks. So here, can we buy or not? No, because green band, red candlestick, so cannot buy. So how about here? Buy or not? Cannot. If you see, if you want to confirm the buy point, two conditions. First one, red band. Second one, red candlestick, okay? So this one, here can buy or not? Yes, it's the buy point. But if you buy here, you cannot make money. But here is the good buy point. Here buy or not, still can buy because the trend is uptrend. Then we can see next one. This one can buy or not? cannot then you should know how to catch the buy point and the sell point so we can see some individual stocks here can buy or not here is the buy point because red band red candlestick here you buy 0 0.32 now you keep it 0 0.35 you can make money okay so let's see some other stocks 
Can we buy here or not? Cannot because the green band. Okay, so you'd better not buy. But we see here, red candlestick, red band. Here buy or not? Buy point. Then red band, blue candlestick. You can hold your stocks, but red band and the yellow candlestick decrease your position. Okay, so here you should decrease your position. Okay, so if you buy here, here you decrease, you can make some money. I see. So I saw some members are sleepy. Okay, <laughs> so. Let's continue our class. Then we can see this one, sell or not. This one can buy or not. Cannot because the green band. Okay. So if you see the red band and the yellow candlestick is the decrease position, but not sell out, just decrease your position. Maybe you can sell one third position. It's up to you. Okay, but no need to sell out. How to judge the buy and the sell point? Wave expert and strong signal. Firstly, green band, yellow candlestick, you must sell. Green band, light blue candlestick, you should hold your money. Green band and the red candlestick, buy or not? Not, better not to buy. But they have two situations. Red candlestick close above the green band, you can buy. But red candlestick close below the green band, wait and see. Can you understand clearly? If you see the red candlestick, the closing price above the green band, you can consider buy, even if the band is green, okay? Then if you see the closing price of the red candlestick below the green band, you'd better wait and see. Okay. Green 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 yeah. Okay. Then, then I give you some examples. You just tell me buy or not. So here buy or not? No. No. Here. This stock, buy or not? No. Cannot buy, okay? So you need to wait and see. This one, yeah. buy point. This one, cannot. still cannot buy. Because the green band and the light blue candlestick, you'd better not buy. Then we can see this one. Green band and the light blue candlestick, hold your money. The next day, the band is still green, but the closing price of the red candlestick above green band. Here, buy or not? You can consider buy, or you can buy at one. You can buy some position. Okay, open your position, so you no need to wait the here to buy. So you can buy here, right? So now you still can make money, okay? Then let's see this one, buy or not? Gantin, you should decrease your position, okay? Because we can see here, Gantin for here, decrease your position because the light, the blue, the, ye the red band and the yellow candlestick, you should uh, decrease your position, okay? So here, if you never decrease, then here you should decrease again. Then how about this one? Sell or keep? Yeah. Sell, because the green band and the yellow candlestick, you should sell. This one buy or not? Yeah. Cannot buy. How about here? Green band, blue, yellow, red candlestick appears. Can we buy here or not? Cannot because the closing price of the red candlestick not above the green band. So you should wait and see. Okay, just wait and see. Yellow appears. If you have this stock, sell or not? Yeah. Sell. Maybe you lost you lost some money, but here you should sell. Then you wait and see. So how about Yang Zijiang? 
here can we buy or not? Yes, because the closing price of the red candlestick above the green band. So here is the first buy point. Okay, first buy point. Then where is the next buy point? Here is the next buy point because red band, red candlestick, you can buy again. Then yellow appears. You should decrease your position, but sell out or not? No need to sell out. If you follow this buy point, you should uh, decrease your position. Okay? So let's see this one. Can we buy here or not? This price. Firstly, let's check the buy conditions are satisfied or not. So we can see here. The, firstly, the band is green. Then the candlestick is red candlestick. There are two situations. If you see the closing price of the red candlestick above the green band, here is the buy point. But if below, like here, below the green band, buy or not? No, just wait and see. So here can we get in or not? Here is the buy point, okay? Then you wait and see. Here you sell, then here buy again. If you follow this method, you can make more money, lose less, okay? So this one you buy, you just uh, keep it. So here is the buy point next day, then now you keep it, you can earn more money, okay? So let's see this one, buy or not. Firstly, we can see the band is green. The red candlestick, but the closing, closing price not higher, not above the green band. So it's not a good buy point. You should wait and see. When to buy? If you see the red candlestick appears and the red band, you can consider buy. Okay? So let's see this one, buy or not, buy point. So maybe you follow this buy point, here you buy, here you decrease your position, you will lose more, okay? But if you see the red candlestick appears, where you buy or wait and see, you can buy. Because the red one and the red candlestick, you can this is the buy point. You just follow it, okay? So let's see this one. Where is the good buy point? Here can we buy or not? This price. Yes, because the band is green, but the red candlestick, the closing price is above the green band. Here is the first buy point, okay? Then you buy. Sell or not? Sell or not? keep it okay because red band and the dark blue dark blue candlestick hold your stocks so you can keep it when <coughs> yellow candlestick appears what should we do here is the buy point 0 0.069 here 0 0.117 sell or not here is the decrease your position okay you can sell some sell half of your position okay so sell then you can avoid the risk okay but maybe you think why i don't sell out here because your buy price is here so here you still can make money okay so you should follow the buy point then follow the sell point you can make more money and lose less okay so let's see this start here buy or not cannot wait and see how about here buy point okay here you sell lose more then up here again buy or not buy point so now decrease your position so tomorrow you just decrease your position but the band is red band if tomorrow the red candlestick appears what should we do we can buy again okay so let's see some other stocks. So let's see this one. Trend is still uptrend. So the yellow candlestick appears, 
you just decrease your position when to buy. Every day you can check. If you see the yellow, the blue, the red candlestick appears, you can consider buying. Okay? It's simple, right? It's quite simple. You just follow it. Maybe you can, you will lose some money, but you can make more profit. Okay? So here you buy, here you decrease your position, earn money or not. Yes, you can earn profit. So we can see here, buy or not? Buy. Buy. But here, sell or not? Sell. sell. You should stop loss because the buy point is wrong. So if you confirm the buy point is wrong, it will tell you that you should stop loss. Okay? So here you made a mistake, but here you should uh, admit the mistake. Okay? So here you should uh, sell out your stocks. So now if you have this stock, hold or sell. You can keep it because the red band and the light blue, dark blue candlestick, you can hold your stocks. Okay, so we see here, buy or not, buy point, but you still can keep it, no need to sell, okay? So let's see this one, here can buy or not, buy point, so you still can hold. Here you buy, now you hold, you can make more money. If you follow this method, we cannot guarantee every time you earn money and no chance to lose, cannot guarantee like this. We only can tell you, if you follow this information, follow this method, you can make more profit, lose less, okay? So let's see this one. What should we do here now? Decrease your position, okay? So here, you should sell out, okay? So you can avoid the risk. So here you buy, you also can make profit. So this is the method and how to combine, how to catch this good buy point and sell point. You just follow it. I repeat it again. Big expert and strong signal. Red band and red candlestick, buy point. Red band, blue candlestick, hold. Dark blue candlestick, hold your stocks. Red band and yellow candlestick, decrease your position, okay? So this is the decrease your position. The next one, green band and the yellow candlestick, you must sell, sell point. Green band and the light blue candlestick, hold your money. Green band and the red candlestick, there are two situations. The first one, if you see the closing price, of the red candlestick above the green band, you can consider buying. If you see the closing price below the green band, you should wait and see, okay? So this is the method. So let's see this one, sell or not? Sell, because the green band and the yellow candlestick, here you must sell. So maybe you sell and along this day, maybe you think this sell point is too low, I will wait and see. If you wait and see, you will suffer a, suffer more loss, okay? Then we can see this one. Here, decrease your position. Here, sell or not? Sell out. Because the green band and the yellow candlestick, you should sell out your stocks. So here, if you see the green band and the green, light blue candlestick, hold your money. Keep your money. No need to buy any stock. Okay, so maybe you think I want to do some short term trading, I want to catch some short term rebound. But if you, if you want to do like this before, you should see the two functions whether the buy point appears or not. If not, if no buy point, wait and see. Okay, so let's see this one the yellow, the red band, right? Red band, red candlestick. Buy point, okay? Red band, red candlestick. Here is the buy point. Here is the buy point. Here another buy point. If you buy here, here decrease. 
add more again, decrease, add more again, decrease, add more. You will earn more or lose more. Earn more profit, lose less. Okay, so this is the method. Then we can see this one. If you see the green band, and even if you see the red candlestick appears, buy or not? You should see the closing price is <coughs> above the green band or below the green band. Below the green band, here we buy or not? No, just keep it, okay? Wait and see. Here, if you buy this stock around here, here, stop loss or not? You should sell, even if you lose money, here you must sell, because green band and the yellow candlestick, if you don't sell, you will suffer great loss, right? Because we learned so many methods before, but if you follow one method, how can you lose more money and make more profit? If you lose more and earn less, which means you didn't follow any method, Okay, so if you follow it, I think you can make more, lose less. So let's see this one. Green band, red candlestick, here buy or not? Wait and see. Here, wait and see. How about this one? Why? But yellow appears. Stop loss. Okay, so here it tells you that I made a mistake. Okay, then I make mistake. Here I church I already told you sell stop loss to avoid more risk. Okay? So because no method can guarantee one hundred accuracy. Okay. So how to filter strong bull stocks? Before this one, before I taught you the filter method, then I want to uh, test whether you will follow it or not. So let's see this one. If you have this stock, buy or not, sell or keep your keep it. Hold. When to buy again? When can we get in again? When can get in again? Red band, red candlestick appears, you can buy again. Okay? So let's see this one. Buy or not? Buy. But next day, yellow appears, you buy this day. So here you should uh, sell, lose small, okay? Then let's see this one. Here we buy, here stop loss, earn small. So let's see this one. When to buy, when to sell. Here, can we buy or not? Buy. Here sell. Then next one, red turn to green turn to red, you can buy again. Then you keep your money. Where is the next buy point? So maybe you cannot catch this good buy point, right? When can we get in again? Sell or not? Hold. How about here? S sell or hold? Decrease your position because the red band, yellow candlestick, right? So why I need to test or uh, test all of you? Because if you learn this method, but you will not follow it because you have your own opinion, you have your you have your idea, right? So if you don't follow it, okay. So here, what should we do? Decrease our position. We buy here. We decrease here earn more or less, earn more profit, okay? So here, what should we do? You can buy again, okay? Red candlestick, red band, we buy again. We can keep, sell or not. Decrease your position, okay? If you, why decrease your position? Because the trend is uptrend. So decrease your position means you still hold some position, right? So go up again. You still have, so you here buy or not? You can buy again, okay? Then we see some other stocks. Do you have some stocks? Want to check? J E P. 
Okay, let's see this dog. What should we do now? Wait and see. If you have, you wait and see. If you don't have, you also need to wait and see when to get in. Red candlestick appears, you can consider buy. Okay, now you need to wait and see because this stock is not active. Okay, so any other stocks? Nanchong. Buy or not? No. Wait and see. If you see the red candlestick appears, you can consider buy. But for now, wait and see. Okay? So we have so many information, right? So you should can follow this method to uh, operate your stock. But let's see this one. Buy or not? Wait and see because, yeah. So let's see this one. This one is so strong, right? Here, maybe you don't buy. Here, buy or not? Maybe you think too high already and uh, nearly touch the previous high point. So maybe you will wait and see. You will consider it. Maybe you have your idea. Then you will not follow this method. You will miss the good chance to make profit. If you buy here, you keep here, you still can make money, right? So you should follow the method. If you learn the good method, you should follow it, okay? So you cannot, I already told you, you cannot guarantee 100 accuracy, right? Okay, so how to filter the strong stocks? Every strong stock has the same movements and the volume filter, that is the price shock rise along the 45 degree and break out the short term high point with increased volume every time. So we should find this pattern. But how to find this pattern? If we want to find a pattern, we check 600, nearly 600 stocks. When you finish the checking, the day is then you will not ch you have no chance to buy, okay? Because you will be puzzled. Then we can see this one. This filter method is a little complicated because there are so many steps, but easy to choose. You no need to change the parameter, just follow it. I will show you how to do that for one by uh, step by step. The first one, how to find it? Five days moving average, more than 10 days moving average, more than 20 days. 20 days, more than 30 days, more than 60 days. Why we choose these two situations, two, uh, two addition, uh, in, in two, uh, this two. Then we can see here, five more than 10, more than 20, for short term, up or down, short term up. Because this one can guarantee the chain is good, then your loss will last. Okay, 20 day more than 30 day more than 60 day, medium term, up trend or down trend. So short term, medium term, medium term, medium short term is up trend, okay? So this is the first one. The next one, energy. Intraday volume more than yesterday's 30%. Why? This situation tells us that the volume increase or decrease. Increase is better. If the price up, volume should increase. Okay, this is the second situation, uh, second condition. Then this one, quotation, five days, five percent less than each day change less than ten percent. Why we choose this condition? Because if we choose this condition means the price up or down. The price up or down. Up means the red candlestick. Okay? So the price is up. Okay? Not down. Because 5 to 10 means today the price up. Okay? Then this condition. 8 experts. Box experts. Box top breakout. Why we choose box top breakout? So maybe you think this one is sideways. 
breakout Mr. Upchain, the Mr. Uh, accuracy is higher. So if we follow this method, we can we only can fuse, uh, can select some few stocks. But if you follow this method, you can get the high accuracy. Okay, then I will do it for you. Firstly, click filter. Then first one, moving average. Five days, more than 10 days, more than 30 days. 20 days, more than 30 days, more than 60 days. Two conditions, right? What is the next step? Energy. In today volume, more than yesterday, 30%. The next step, potation, with 5%. Less than intraday change, less than 10%. This is the next step. How about the last step? Eight experts bought top breakout. Then we click filter. So let's see whether can filter some stocks or not. Okay. So maybe you can see, maybe there's no stock appears. Then I can teach you other function based on this one. Okay, so firstly, let's see whether can filter some stocks or not. If you use this method, only a few stock, only few stocks will come out. Okay, because so many conditions, right? So let's wait and see, see, where uh, how many stocks will come out. Okay, so the first one we saw the Moya, because long time ago we also can filter this stock. Okay. Because he, this stock is not just uh, up, up for a long time, okay? Only one stock, only one. So maybe you think only one stock is less. It's, so I want to select more, how to do that? If you want to select more stocks and you can get more choice, because if you follow this, Filter method, you only can get one choice, right? Then if you want to have more choice, maybe you can, I can show you this one. You can, no need to this one, and uh, this one, and uh, this one. Just the two. This five days moving average, less, uh, more than 10 days, more than 30 days. 30 days more than, 20 days more than 30 days, more than 60 days. And the next one, home listing in the group, strong signal by point, just a click filter. Then if you use this filter method, you will filter more stocks, not only one, okay? Then let's do it, okay? So, but if you use the first method, you filter the five stocks, no need to use this one, okay? It's up to you. Then if we use this method, we can five filter more five stocks, more than one, right? The first one is this one, okay? This one no need to care because not active. How about this one? Filtered already, right? Because the red button and red candlestick. This one and this one filtered, okay? So you can use this two filter method. The first one, the accuracy is higher than the second filter method, okay? So it's up to you. You just follow it, that's all, okay? So these stocks, mostly strong rising, who are picked by this filter method. Why are these shares a little high for short term? So if you use this method, men all stocks already high for short term. So it is more, more suitable for using in the strong market. If you see the market is strong, you use this method, it's better, okay? Because for short term, it's already high, okay? So this method you should remember. Okay, so let's review it. Because today we reviewed 
We've there, we've, today we learned the wave practical tactics. So the first one we learned is complete how to get the complete trading system. You should get you should know the market evaluation. You should have the you should know how to select the individual stocks, then grasp the buy and sell point, then distribution of funds and risk control. Okay, so this is the complete trading system. There's three methods of catching bottom. Today we learned buy low signal. Do you know how to set buy low signal? I repeat, I repeat it again. Take this signal if you want to buy low. Probability, change the KDJ minus 20 to 8. Then we click OK. Then buy low signal will appear. OK. So let's continue. This is the buy low signal. And you should know how to stop loss, where to stop loss. OK. So next one, if you see the chain, the price and uh, combine with the division expert or MACD, if you see the top division, the, uh, the rising chance is higher. If not bottom division, better to wait and see. Uh, we can see how to combine with the wave expert and strong signal. Red band and red candlestick, you can buy. Red band and blue candlestick, dark blue candlestick, hold your stocks. Red band and yellow candlestick, decrease your position. Then green band and yellow candlestick, sell your stocks. Green band and light blue candlestick, hold your money. Green band and red candlestick, they have two situations. The first one, if you see the closing price of red candlestick above the green band, you can buy. If you see the closing price below the green band, you'd better wait and see. This is the trading, mass, trading strategy for buy and sell point. Last one, we learned how to filter strong stocks. But we learned two methods. The first method, the accuracy is higher. Okay. So if you cannot use the first filter method to select, there's no stocks come out. You can use the second filter method. Then I repeat again. The first filter method, five click moving average, five day moving average, more than 10 day, more than 20 day, 20 day, more than 30 day, more than 60 day. Okay. Next one, could energy, internet volume more than yesterday's 30%. Then 5% less than intraday change, less than 10% quotation. Can the price up? Then this one, eight experts, box top breakout. Box top breakout, okay? So this is the, this one. Then if you see this method cannot filter any stocks, we only use two Conditions. One. Moving average. This two. The next one, homely signal combination, five point. That's all. Okay? So this is the second filter method. So note this stock's mostly rising, strong rising. So if you want to catch because this stock's a little high for short term. So is this more suitable for using in the strong market? Okay, so th this is the, t the whole contents of today's course. And I hope you can learn this method and follow it. Okay, so thank you for attending the course. Thank you.